hello hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today i am going to start a new module for microsoft sql server 2022 so if you are totally new on my youtube channel so please subscribe and like the videos so this is a new module which will cover up entire microsoft sql server 2022 videos like theory what is microsoft sql server and uh, on their functionality components and what are the components inside the sql server and then i will show you how you can create the database tables views and how you can feed the data and then the major part of this module to pull the data for the reporting like how you can write the sql queries to pull the data from the sql server so this is a very interesting module which i started and if you really you want to learn the microsoft sql to uh, sql server 2022 so this is the right platform to start your journey with sql server so let's get started this video so first topic is a, what is a microsoft sql server and now here is a microsoft sql server is a database will store the data of application and tool so basically this is a database which will uh, store your application and tools data in the in the microsoft sql server so this database is used to store the data even you can uh, feed the data from the application data or directly also you can feed or with the powershell you can use or any other language you can use to feed the data in the microsoft sql server now microsoft sql server is a retentional database management system that's called the rdbms as well now application and tool connect to a sql server instant or the database to communicate using tsql so that i will cover up in my coming videos what is the tsql so here is a common database administration task like if you are a, um, a database administrator so what are the tasks you can perform it so provisioning database server and the databases maintaining database file and objects managing recovery and the event database failure reporting um, oh, sorry importing and exporting the data so you can import or export the data applying the security to data so these are the like day-to-day -day task for uh, your the admin uh, if you are a database admin now the monitoring and troubleshooting the database system so these are like a few uh, tasks which i collected or uh, a normally a database admin uh, what are the tasks they can perform okay so introduction to the sql server platform what are the uh, what are the topics i'm going to cover inside this the platform so sql server component sql server instances and sql server additions sql server versions so uh, these are the topics i will be covering up in the platform under the uh, sql server platform now here is a sql server uh, supported os platform so where you can install uh, your uh, sql server 2022 so inside the window uh, window you need or you can install on the windows server uh, this is a, like a Microsoft window and Microsoft Windows server, Linux server and the Azure. So the SQL server can be hosted inside the window, Windows server, Linux server and the Azure. And in my the coming video, I will show you what are the minimum version is required to support it for SQL server 2022. Now here is a SQL server components. What are the components we have inside the SQL server? So here I write a just not like uh, not just a database engine. It's a retention and business intelligence component. So now let's see what are the components for our SQL server. It's a database engine. Uh, integration services, master data services, Streamlight, replication, power view analysis service reporting service data quality service and full text search and the power pivot so these are the components of your sql server 
now here is the sql server instances so many sql server components are instances aware like uh, uh, instances enable isolation of administration and the security configuration performance and sla's version and the calibrations so basically our instances of two types is like default instance and the name instance so default instance when you install any sql server you will get a one default instance with the installation it will installed with your uh, when you install the sql server so it will show you the by default another one is a named instance named instance called like which is created manually or it created by the application suppose you are installing any of the application in that sql server so automatically it will create an insta instant for that application and it will start storing the data in sql server or you can create it your own like you can just create it manually you can right click and create the instant as well so i will show you in the coming video how you can play with the instances now sql server additions so the premium edition uh, that is a enterprise and a standard so basically we have uh, mainly in the company we use enterprise or the standard so uh, if you are using the enterprise that is uh, like a parallel database warehouses or if you are using the standard that is a business intelligence so apart from this core and the premium edition we have the other edition compact and the web so compact for the express and web is for the developers so these are the additions for sql server and we have the another for the microsoft azure sql database so for azure sql database i will create a separate video on this topic now here is a sql server version released when when this sql server released so it got started on uh, 1989 and the version was 1.0 and till here you can see it's a red because all these versions are unsupported now these are the expired version so should not use all these versions now from from 2020 uh, 2014 version is still running it's not expired but in a couple of months it going to be expired the latest sql server version is 2022 that was released on 16 november 2022 and uh, the 2019 so you can use the 2019 or the best way to use the latest version is 2022 now the database management tool and the techniques so what are the management tools we have when we installed our uh, uh, SQL server what are the tools will get it so database engine we will, uh, will get machine learning services integration services uh, analysis services reporting services replication data quality service master data services so these are the uh, tools and the techniques used in Microsoft SQL server 2022 now here is the database engine so uh, here what I shows you all these now let's let me explain you what is the database engine and the other components so database engine uh, is the core services of storing processing and securing the data so this is a main part of your SQL server that is called a database engine so it will it responsible to storing your data or processing your data like uh, you are uh, importing or exporting the data you are updating the data or you are pulling the data like for the reporting purpose and it will secure your database now the database engine provide controlled access and the transition process to meet the requirement of the most demanding data consuming applications within your enterprise so database uh, engine is responsible to uh, to securing your data or the processing meet with the requirements so basically the database engine will pull the data what you are requesting from the database so database engine will also provide a rich support of uh, sustaining the business containing the business community and the database recovery now let's see the machine learning services functionality so machine learning services support integration of the machine learning using the pop, uh, using the popular r and the python languages 
into the enterprise's workflow. And machine learning services in database integrate, uh, uh, integrates R and the Python with SQL Server and make it easy to build, retain, and score model by calling store procedures. Now, the machine learning server uh, provide the enterprise skill support of R and uh, the Python without uh, requiring the SQL server. Now, the integration services. So, uh, this SQL server integration services that is called SSIS is the platform to build high performance data integration solution, including the packages that provide extract, transform, and load that is a uh, load ETL processing to the data warehousing. Now the analysis services, so SQL Server analysis services that's called SSAS is the uh, analytical data perform and the tool set of personal team and the corporate business intelligence. Now the servers, uh, servers and the client designer support transition OLAP solution the new tabular module uh, solution as well as the services analytics for the collaboration using the power pivot excel and the sharepoint environment so this is what the uh, analysis services do now let me go to the next so reporting services is very important of the sql server every uh, every company is using the SSRS to pull the report in the back end so this is can reports you can pull with your application as well or you can use the SSRS so uh, SQL will provide you the separate link on the web link uh, from where you can access all these reports for your application so SSRS uh, deliver enterprises web enabled reporting functionality so this reporting you can access through the web so you can create uh, reports and draw the content from the various data sources publish report into a various format and certainly manage security and the subscriptions so even you can do the uh, you can subscribe the report uh, on the already existing report you can sub subscribe it you can create it your own report or you can edit the report by using the SSRS services now the replication uh, SQL server replication is the set of technologies and copying the the distributing data and the database object from the database so actually this is a database replication is used when you have the two SQL servers and you would like to replicate your uh, database from one to another SQL so the techniques can be used. By using the replication you can distribute data to different location and to the remote on the mobile user and the local or the wide area networks. So basically you can uh, replicate your data uh, from from one SQL to the another SQL. Okay, so here is the data quality services. What is the data quality service? It's called DQS provide uh, provide you with a knowledge driven data clearing solution. DQS enabled you to build the knowledge base and it use the knowledge base to perform the data correction and uh, uh, and the deduplication on your data. So you can use the cloud-based reference data services and you can build a data management solution that integrate with the DQS, with the SQL integration service and the master data services. Now let's understand the master database services. So master data, master, da uh, master data service MDS is the SQL server solution and the master database management. A solution built on the master data services help uh, uh, helps ensure the reporting and analytic is the base right information. So these are the functionality of master database services. Now, now let's see the what are the tools we'll get when we install our SQL Server. So you will get the SS uh, MS that is called the Server Management Studio, and mostly we will be working on the Management Studio part only in our tutorial. 
and the SQL Server Configuration Manager that is called SSCM, SSCM, SQL Profiler and the SQL Database Engine, uh, uh, Tuning Advisor, DTA, SQL Server Import and Export, SQL CMD Utility and the PCP Utility. Now let's see the Management Studio Console. So as I told, mostly we'll be working on the Management Studio from the my the second video. So here you can see in, this is a uh, input box where you can write your query, SQL query, and uh, here you can select your uh, sorry. Here you can select the database, drop down to master, or you can change the database from where you are pulling the data. And this is the button you can use to execute the query. So you will get the output in this. Under the result tab, you will get the output for, from your query. Now, the CMD utility. So CMD utility looks like this. You can use the CMD, uh, SQL CMD. Uh, to perform the actions and uh, and using the Windows PowerShell to manage manage the SQL server so your PowerShell can integrate with the SQL to pull the data you can write the any code here if you like it and you can run by this button so we have the by default module that's called like a get SQL instance uh, database uh, get SQL instance get SQL uh, credential and once you install the PowerShell module for SQL, you can play anything with the SQL server once you connect it with the SQL with the PowerShell. So guys, thank you for watching this video. See you soon in my next video uh, with some practical session. And this is was like a, just a theory to explaining you what is the Microsoft SQL server. So see you soon guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video.